So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike SB Dunk What The Pole or P-Rod. Can you tell any differences between these two? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a pretty big comparison for you that I've been waiting to do for quite a while. So today, as you can tell by the title of the video and the thumbnail, it's the two pairs of the Nike SB Dunk What The Pole or P-Rod, whatever you want to call them. So we'll just be doing a comparison video of what to look for if you are trying to purchase a retail pair. But before we get into this video, as you know from all my videos, this one is sponsored by Legitmark. Legitmark is the standard for sneaker authentication and is the safest and most reliable place to get your sneakers authenticated. There's a lot of untrustworthy apps out there, so this is the safest one that I know. And there's a link in the description if you want to check them out, if you don't know how to legit check a real and a fake shoe. So now we're going to get into the comparison. So in terms of the boxes themselves, they are the exact same size, which is actually a worrying sign. These are both a UK 9, so the details should be pretty close indeed. So as you can see, the boxes themselves are very similar. The colors are exactly the same. In terms of the Nike text on top, there really isn't too much difference just from looking straight above. I'll now give you a close up of the label and we'll see if there's any differences there. So from looking at the labels side by side, there is a little difference between the retail and the fake pair. The retail one obviously is based on the UK label, so it doesn't have the US dollars price on the side. Whereas on the top where it says Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS, you can see there are differences in font size. The retail one is a little bit slimmer and cleaner, whereas on the fake one, the text is larger and thicker. But other than that, they are very similar indeed, all the way down to the tiny details. So as you can see, the boxes are incredibly close, but now we'll be going into the shoes and taking a look at the details on them. So we'll open them up. This is the fake one here. Uh, this is the retail one here. Looking at the paper itself, one difference to note is the fake one is a little bit more laminated than the retail one, but this is very minor and can only be seen in studio lighting. So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike SB Dunk What The Pole or P-Rod. Can you tell any differences between these two? So we'll move the shoes to the side. Obviously the right one has the different patterns on it as well. So there are differences to spot. And obviously this did come with the StockX branding and sticker. It did also come with the receipt, but I've removed that because it has my address and details on it. So here are the two pairs. So this is gonna be very close indeed. So hopefully these details will help you legit check a real and a fake pair of the Nike Dunk What The Poles. So we are in fact going to start with the right shoe and in my personal opinion, this is the uglier one of the two. I do prefer the left shoe to the right one, but on terms of details, we'll now start and looking at legit checking them. So the first detail to notice between the retail and fake one is on the toe box itself. So you do have that black leather toe going around the top and it has white stitching details going around it. As you can see from the close up, the leather panel on the fake one is much larger than on the retail one, so obviously the white stitching details doesn't cover up the full part of the leather, whereas on the retail one you can see it covers up more of the leather itself around the toe. In terms of the coloured pattern on both toe boxes, this does vary between pairs and depends on the size as well. I do believe one is rarer than the other, but I can't remember which one's which. But the retail one here goes like a purpley colour to green to yellow to a more purpley color again, then back to pink, whereas the fake one goes blue to pink to that purpley color again, and then finishes off with a yellow. The next difference to note actually occurs on the laces themselves. So if I give you a close up of this, you can see there are differences between the retail and the fake. On the retail one, you can see that the laces are slightly brighter and actually a more orangey yellow than compared to the fake ones. The fake one have a slightly paler color, and this is very clear to see in studio lighting when you have the pairs side by side, and it's quite a noticeable flaw 
in the fake pear itself. What I do have to commend is the label on the tongue is pretty much exactly the same. The width around the edges and the stitching quality is very good on the fake pear as well. So that is something to note that there's basically no difference on the tongue. They do both also come with spare laces and here you can see a clear difference here. On the fluorescent ones that come spare, you can see there's a clear color difference where the fake one's gone for a more greeny color, whereas the retail one is that bright fluorescent yellowy green. So there are differences between the color of the spare laces, so do look out for that if you are purchasing a dead stock pair. Here is the retail one in my hand, and when looking at the inner sock liner, you can see how clearly ridged it is on the retail pair, whereas if I compare this to the fake one, you can see it doesn't quite have the same pattern on the inside. It's not quite as visible and texturized as it is on the retail one, so that's a clear difference once again between the retail and the fake. There are actually so many different details on the shoe, it's actually quite hard to do comparison because you're looking at so many different parts of the shoe. However, for fakes to get every single part of the shoe correct, that's quite tough, so this is gonna be a hard shoe for fakes to get right. When looking at the inner side of the shoe, it does have that white swoosh in the actual outside embroidery, and then it has the black swoosh stitched in on top of that maroon leather, and then it has a brown zebra-like print on the back heel. These are pretty much spot on from retail to fake. There is absolutely no difference between the two pairs. They've done a very good job of this indeed. When comparing retail to fake, you can see differences with the actual stitching color on the swoosh itself, on the retail one, the yellow stitching on the swoosh is a slightly lighter color, whereas on the fake one, it's a really bright yellow. It's almost like the opposite of the laces on the retail and fake, whereas the stitching on the fake one is much brighter and bolder, whereas on the retail one, it's lighter, unlike the laces where it was the opposite there. When turning the shoe upside down, looking at the tread, there really is no difference here at all. In terms of color, they seem to have got it absolutely spot on, details absolutely spot on. There is no difference on the bottom of the shoe, so you can't really legit check from looking at the bottom side of the shoe. We'll now move over to the left shoe, my favorite side of the pair, and do the legit check on that pair. So the first difference to notice between the retail pair and the fake pair here is actually the swoosh color on the outer side. So as you can see, it transitions from a pinky purple all the way up to an orange, whereas if you compare this one to the fake one, you can see it goes from that pinky purpley, but doesn't quite reach the same amount of orange that it does on the retail pair. So that's a clear kind of transitional flaw. They don't have the colors transitioning quite correct as they do on the retail one. Also on the left shoe, it's quite obvious if you look from above at the toe box shape here, you can see that the fake one is is quite boxed compared to the retail one. The retail one has that perfect curve. However, the actual toe box material, where it goes from that black leather to almost that tanned suede-like material, this is very accurate from retail to fake. But once again, like on the right shoe, the toe box panel going around the outside is much bigger than it is on the retail one. And also, it must be said, and on this toe box pattern, you can see the darker gaps here are much thicker on the retail pair compared to the fake. And this continues on the side panel up to the bottom laces. When spinning the shoe around to the side and looking at this white paneled leather on the side, you can see the details on it are slightly different and are actually much clearer on the fake pair compared to the retail one. So that is something to compare, and in my opinion, I actually prefer it on the fake one compared to the retail one. Spinning the shoe around to the back, and probably where fakes mostly go wrong, Nike embroidery on the heel, you can see differences here once again, but the major difference on the back of the shoe is actually that leopard dot print underneath. Here you can see that the colors are slightly different. On the retail one, it's a lighter creamy yellow underneath, whereas the fake one is slightly darker. And also there are a lot more dots on the fake one compared to the retail one. Probably my favorite part of the shoe is actually this black, almost leopard dotted print on the heel going around to the upper side. This is no different from retail to fake, which is quite worrying because it's actually my favorite part of the shoe but there are no differences to note from retail to fake. Once again, on the left shoe, if we look at that quilted material on the inner side sock liner, you can see differences between retail and fake. Once again, the quilted material is much more vibrant and noticeable on the retail pair compared to the fake. So do take that into consideration when you are trying to legit check this pair. So as you can see from this video, these shoes are pretty close from afar, and if you look to them just like this, would you really be able to tell which one is real and which one is fake? I hope the details in this video have helped you legit check if you are trying to purchase this pair because it is an absolutely stunning pair and it is a little bit crazy. Not too sure about the right side, but I definitely do like the left side. I think the left side would have looked a lot better if it had that colored material on the toe. I think it would have suited that swoosh and just looked really good on this shoe, but they decided not to do that. But yeah, hope you have liked the video, hope it has helped. Let me know if you have copped a pair or are looking to buy a pair. 
But thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.